recording and motion quarters commenced. So, Clause 5A4 of 2017, Alberts and 137 others versus the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services. Yes, this, this is a judgment that has been prepared by my sister Roji AJ, uh, which I have been asked to, to hand down. And I will read uh, the order, uh, which reads, uh, one, the special plea raised by the uh, defendant is upheld and the plaintiff's claims are dismissed. And two, the plaintiffs are to pay the defendant's costs, including the costs of two counsel. That's the number one on the roll. Linda Makuleli Thompson versus D. Thompson. This is matter number one on the roll, a, a matter of Thompson versus Thompson, who is appearing. Let me just make sure that everyone is in. Any one of those, a matter of Thompson versus Thompson. Yes. Yes, well, this matter, this matter then will be removed from the roll. In matter number two, the matter of low versus low, that was removed. Matter number three. Merchant West PTY Limited versus F and J Administrators plus NO and two others. May it please you, my Lord, I appear in this matter on behalf of the applicant. Yes, thank you. My Lord, this is the return day in this matter. Um, the matter is to be further postponed as the application is opposed and there are certain interlocutory proceedings that need to be dealt with um, in terms of a, in respect of an irregular step. My, Unfortunately, my Lord, I've not been able to contact the respondents' attorneys in this matter, either telephonically or by email, so this order is not by agreement. What I seek is an order postponing the matter until the 23rd of June, with costs to be cost in the cause. And uh, am I correct that the... Uh, the, the rule would be extended to that. That is correct, my Lord, with the rule to be extended. Yes, thank you, Mr. Tron. This matter then is postponed to the 23rd of June 2020. The costs will be in the cause and the rule is extended accordingly. As the court pleases. Matter number five on the roll, Michael Van Feeren and 17 others versus Daniel John Watson. This is the matter of Van Feeren and versus Watson. The matter of Van Feeren versus Watson. Is there any appearance? It was indicated to me uh, electronically in any event that the matter is likely to be postponed uh, by agreement between the parties and uh, it will therefore be postponed to the 5th of May 2020 uh, and I will make no orders to costs. Matter number seven on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Andres van Staden. Is the matter of uh, Standard Bank versus Andries van Staden? Is there any appearance? Attorneys Craven stands. Is this matter then will simply be removed from the role. It is a Rule 46A application, uh, and so it would be inappropriate for the matter to be dealt with at this stage in any event. The matter is simply removed from the role. Matter number eight on the role, Changing Tide 17 PTY Limited versus Joseph uh, Sitemela and one other. Yes, matter number eight. Is 
the attorneys of Strombeck Pitteser. It's a Rule 46 application. This is the matter where there was. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, this matter then will simply be removed from the roll. No order as to costs. Could you call all of those then? Yes, number, we. Number 10 on the roll, changing time, 17 p to y Limited versus Muhammad Davids and one other. Yes, this is a similar matter in which we had received an indication that matters would either be postponed or removed, and so the matter is simply removed from the roll. No orders to costs. Matter number 11 on the roll, changing time, 17 p to y Limited versus Christina Williams. Yes. yes, this matter similarly will be removed from the roll. No orders to costs. Matter number 13 on the roll, Dino Rambelli versus Rolanda Rambelli. May it please you, my Lord, I appear on behalf of the applicants. Thank you. This is an application for the change in matrimonial property regime. My Lord, firstly, I need to address you on the fact that this application was meant to be set down for the 31st of March um, and obviously was advertised accordingly. My Lord, my submission on that regard and, and whether the court should hear the matter today is that um, obviously the, inter the intervening lockdown um, situation resulted in the matter not being able to be heard on the set down date. However, if creditors were inclined uh, to follow up with the registrar's office as to the furtherance of, of the matter, they could have done so, the role and the directives being of a public nature. Um, there has been no intimation by any of the creditors for the matter, uh, to, to pursue the matter, my Lord, and if the court is inclined to hear the application today, then, then I am instructed to move yes. for, for the order. Could I just ask you about the procedure on the 31st of March, which was in fact, uh, in, was within the lockdown period. Um, yes, my the, with the, the matters that were on the roll were dealt with uh, in accordance with the directives that were issued uh, at that time. Were they automatically uh, removed or was they in fact a court sitting? I can't recall myself. There certainly wasn't a court sitting, my Lord. It not. was dealt with automatically via the registrar's office. Yes. Yes. And so for that reason, we would have no, uh, no indication as to whether any one of the creditors, uh, quite apart from a formal uh, indication, um, might not have made appearance on that date. No, my Lord, I don't have any information in that regard, no. The advertising that took place um, that did, on what date? My Lord, the advertising took place on the 14th of February mm. uh, in respect of the Government Gazette and uh, the Herald, my Lord. Yes. The, there is, apart from that, there is one other matter. It, it, the, the, there does seem to have been a considerable delay in the bringing of the application by the by the applicants. Was there, a, apart from a fairly bold statement that they had no funds for what appears to be a period of six years, uh, uh, should there not have been some indication as to why it is that they have not brought this application sooner, having known about the uh, yes. problem? Um, from yes. shortly after the marriage. Yes, my Lord, they did know of the problem when they consulted their attorney a few days after they yes. were married at the Home Affairs. My Lord, the only um, allegation that's made on the papers is for want of finances. Um, and this is confirmed by the attorney in his confirmatory affidavit, which forms part of the papers, that um, he, ind he indicated to them what the financial implications would be um, in launching this application, obviously um, fairly expensive due to the advertisements, and, and they indicated that they weren't in a position to afford it, my Lord. Yes, yes. The order that you seek um, is set out in paragraph... 
paragraphs one to four, my Lord, of the Notice of Motion, which appears at page two. Thank you. Yes, yes I'm inclined in the circumstances uh, to deal with the matter and to grant the order that is set out in paragraphs one to four uh, of the Notice of Motion. And for that reason, uh, you can take that order. As the court pleases. Thank you. Matter number 14 on the roll, First Rand Bank Limited versus Ntumbeka, Boyana, and another. As it please the court, my lord, I appear for the applicant in this matter. Thank you, Mr. Court. Yes. So this is an application in terms of Rule 46, capital A. Uh, it is a return day for further service in this matter. However, my instructions are at present to postpone the matter to the 26th of May with costs to be passed in the court. Yes, give me the date again, please. It's the... 26 May. Thank you. Yes. As it please the court, my lord. Yes, there will be an order that this matter is then postponed to the 26th of May 2020 costs to be in the cause. As the court pleases. My Lord, then if I may beg an indulgence, uh, matter number five, that of Watson. Uh, my colleague, Mr. Dyke, has sent me a WhatsApp message. Um, he's unable to join the or appear in proceedings as he doesn't have access to his robes. Uh, you made an order in that matter that the, the matter is to be postponed until the 5th of May. Um, that accords with the agreement between the parties. However, my Lord, the agreement is for the respondent to pay the wasted costs. Might I beg you for an am amendment to that? Yes, well, uh, thank you. I will recall uh, then matter number five um, and um, and the matter will be postponed by agreement between the parties with the defendant to pay the wasted costs. As the court pleases, my lord. Thank you, Mr. White. Matter number 15 on the roll, Changing Tide 17 P2I Limited versus Calvin Stain. Yes, this is the matter of uh, Changing Tides with Calvin Stain. Is there any appearance in this matter? No, yes. This matter is uh, removed from the roll. There'll be uh, no orders to costs. Matter number 16 on the roll, Renaissance Trading CC versus Franklin Coulson Memorial Congregation Church. May I please support my word in this matter? I appear on behalf of the applicant. Thank you, Mr. This is an application in terms of Rule 35.3 to compel discovery. Um, my Lord, the matter was postponed on two previous occasions because the file contents, the original file contents went missing. Um, I am instructed that my instructing attorney have now filed copies of the original documents that were filed on the court file. An affidavit to that effect has yes, been I've filed. Yes, I've received on the, the affidavit. Court. Thank you. If my, my Lord is then so satisfied, I move for an order in terms of um, paragraphs prayer one and two of the notice of application. Yes, thank you, Ms. Apples. I am satisfied there will be an order in terms of prayers one and two of the notice of motion. Yes, the court pleases. Matter thank number you. 17 on the roll, Standard Bank Limited versus Ntumbe Zandile, Maranko. Yes, the matter of Standard Bank versus uh, Maramco. Is there any appearance? There is no. Uh, the file contents were, were uplifted, and I think they were uplifted shortly before the, the lockdown, and so presumably have not been able to be filed. The matter simply removed from the roll, no orders to costs. Matter number 18 on the roll, Nedbank Limited versus Ntumbekaya Makaza, NO, and another. As it pleases the court, my lord, I appear for the applicant in this matter. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is an application in terms of Section 36 of the Administration of the States Act, in terms of which the applicant seeks an order compelling the first respondent, who is the nominated executor of the deceased estate, to file and uh, include in the liquidation and distribution account the claim of the applicant 
over the mortgage property as a preferential claim. Uh, upon reading the documents, my Lord, the original notice of motion was set for, which was served personally on the first respondent, was set for a date in February. I believe it was the 25th of February. Subsequent there too, however, a notice of set down was served on the respondent at the domicilium care of her son. Um, she been temporarily absent, I believe page 64 of my Lord's bundle has the yes. return of service, reflecting the hearing date being the 31st of March. Um, by effect, that then brings us to where we are today. Uh, in the circumstances, if my Lord is inclined, then I would move for an order in terms of prayer A and B of the notice of motion at page three. However, prayer C is a costs uh, prayer for a costs their bonus propus, which is entirely inappropriate in the circumstances. And I would submit that the appropriate cost order simply be cost on the attorney client scale because that is what allow for in terms of the loan agreement between the parties. So allowed for in terms of the? The loan agreement uh, concluded between the deceased and the first respondent, uh, the applicant and the first respondent. Yes, with that. The loan agreement was concluded between the deceased and the first respondent, my lord. It would appear yeah. that they were married in community of property. But one's one's uh, compelling uh, conduct in terms of section thirty six is rather different to enforcing the credit agreement, surely. Should it, it is. No, should it not simply be uh, costs? I'll take the cost on, on that basis then, my lord. Uh, simply cost of the application. Yes. Yes, well then, it's an order in terms of uh, paragraphs A and B uh, of the, the notice of motion. And uh, save that C then will be that the costs of the application are to be paid by the first respondent. As the court pleases, my lord. Yes. Yes, well, with that amendment, uh, you may take that order. As the court pleases. Matter number 19 on roll Metal Industries Provident Fund versus Basic Blue Trading 772CC and another. Any, any appearance in the Metal Industries Provident Fund matter? Remove the matter from the roll, no orders to costs. And I could just indicate here that in the event, and I don't believe that it is so, but in the event that the non-appearance is due to uh, a technical difficulty, if it is so, then the matter can be, uh, by arrangement, can be re-enrolled uh, on the motion court hearing for next week. But it's removed from the roll presently. Matter number 20 on the roll, Altav Ahmed versus the Minister of Home Affairs and two others. Yes. Is there any appearance in the matter of Ahmed? This matter too will simply be removed from the roll. Matter number 21 on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Frank Lester Peter Stoll and another. Matter number 21, Standard Bank. Matter of Searle and another. Matter simply removed from the roll. It is a National Credit Act uh, application. Matter number 22 on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Abelo Steerman and another. Similarly, this matter will be removed from the roll. Matter number 23 on the roll, Linda Hayes versus Christian Ludwigus de Jager. 
As the court sees, is my lord, I appear on behalf of the um, actually the applicant in this matter, who is a respondent in the main application. Um, yes, Mr. Skelton. As we advised court that the matter would be postponed to the 5th of May 2020 with the costs to be reserved. I trust this was brought to your attention. Yes, it was. Thank you, Mr. Skelton. This matter is postponed to the 5th of May 2020. The costs are reserved. As the court pleases. Matter number 25, Abdi Elmer versus Standing Committee for Refugee Affairs and another. Is there any appearance in this matter at this stage? This matter too is removed from the roll. Matter number 26 on the roll, Andre Nordke versus the Health Professions Council of SA and another. So the matter of Andre Nokia, Health Professions Council of South Africa. We received this as Ms. Barnard. Yes, a draft order was submitted by agreement um, indicating that the matter had been settled and terms have been agreed. And uh, I accordingly uh, would make an order uh, in terms of the draft order submitted uh, to me electronically by Advocate Barnard. Matter number 28 on the roll for Mozo, Mar Marjorie Salokane versus Moses, which has read me. Any appearance in matter number 28? An application for substituted service. No appearance. The matter is removed from the roll. Matter number 29 on the roll, Nedbank Limited versus Dima and Anana. Yes, this too is a uh, National Credit Act Rule 46 and Rule 46A application. The matter is simply removed from the roll. There will be uh, no orders to costs. Matter number 30 on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Williams and another. A similar matter, though in this instance there are no papers in the file. The matter is simply removed from the roll. Matter number 31 on the roll. MFC, a division of NetBank versus Ricardo Bacon. Please support my Lord Ampi on behalf of the applicant in this matter. This is an application for the return of a motor vehicle. Yes. The Lordship would have noted that the date of set down in this matter too, in the notice of motion itself, is indicated as 31 March. The applicant has not advised the respondent of today's appearance or the hearing taking place today and the circumstances. I don't know if your Lordship is prepared to hear the matter. Yes, the, the, the general, my general approach in relation to partic particularly National Credit Act related matters, and this would be a, a, a similar type of uh, instance, although to seek in the return of a motor vehicle, is that it, it often occurs in motion court uh, that parties appear in person um, and, and, and seek either a postponement or, or some other um, appropriate order. And for that reason, I would be inclined not to uh, hear the matter uh, and, uh, uh, and to postpone it to a date. I'm not sure whether it is possible to effect um, uh, service upon the, uh, the, the defendant uh, of that date at this stage. Um, there may be, um, you may have access to email addresses and you may be able to move the court in due course to indicate uh, that the party has notice uh, of the uh, of the application. So I'd be inclined to postpone it rather than to grant an order today. I am otherwise satisfied that the matter 
uh, would be appropriate for an order to be granted there. As the court pleases, my lord, um, I think to be safe, may I then request that the matter be postponed to Tuesday the 19th of May to make provide sufficient time for uh, service of the new notice of set down? Yes. Yes, this matter then is postponed to the 19th of May uh, 2020. I think in the circumstances, uh, uh, no orders to costs would be appropriate. That's a good thesis. Matter number 33 on the roll. Antonius Fisher versus Mark Charles Davis and others. May it please the court, my lord. I appear on behalf of the applicant in this matter. It's the application for leave to serve a third party notice. Yes, thank you. My lord, I sub uh, you lord, you would have seen the second and third respondents abide by the decision. First respondent filed a notice of opposition that subsequently withdrawn. I submit that the proper case has been made out, my Lord. I have prepared a draft order specifically with regards to paragraph C with the, the cost. It should just be cost and the cause. I have emailed the draft order to your, to your you. registrar this morning. Thank and you. I, will I, move have, for I have an, received it, Ms. It, indeed, my Lord. Um, as your Lordship pleases, I will then move an order in terms of the draft order, my Lord. Thank you. There will be an order in terms of the draft order and I will mark it A. As your Lordship pleases. Matter number 34 on the roll, changing time 17 PTY Limited versus your Dean Demetrius van der Merwe and another. This is some, some of that. Yes. Yes, this matter is um, removed from the roll. No orders to costs. Matter number 35 on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Melvin Eric Klinkenberg. <coughs> the matter of Klinkenberg. Similarly, this matter is removed from the roll. No orders to costs. Matter number 37 on the roll. Kulbalin Naidu versus the Minister of Labour of the Republic of South Africa and another. May I please support my Lord. I be on the, in this matter on behalf of the applicant. The issue in this matter, my Lord, is that um, service is, is a problem, uh, personal service on the respondent and obviously um, your Lordship cannot grant an order if there hasn't been personal Indeed. service since it's a contempt application. My Lord, I've similarly prepared a draft order that the matter um, to be safe be postponed to 30 June 2020 to allow the applicant's attorney of record an opportunity to effect proper service yes. uh, by then, my Lord. And Thank you. I have received I will, As your Lordship, please, I will then move for an order in terms of the draft order, my Lord. Yes. Yes, there will be an order in terms of the draft, the effect of which is that the matter is postponed to the 30th of June, cost to be in the courts. As your Lordship pleases. Matter number 38 on the roll, changing time 17 P2Y Limited versus Leon Charles Lottering. Yes, it's there. Yes, this matter similarly is a matter to be removed from the roll. No order as to costs. Matter number 39 on the roll, Standard Bank of South Africa Limited versus Bolile, Aaron, Lottering and another. Yes, thank you. This matter is also a uh, NCA matter and it is removed from the roll, no orders to costs. Matter number 40 on the roll, First Rand Bank Limited versus Simon, Ms. Alisi and another. In this matter, um, it was indicated to me uh, that the uh, first defendant had in fact arrived at court this morning. The registrar indicated uh, that to me. Um, in any event, uh, it is not present now, but the matter is simply to be removed from the roll. Uh, there will be no orders to costs. If that brings me to the end of the roll, um, may I just ask participants who have remained, there were one or two who 
uh, perhaps came in slightly later, whether there are any matters if you, uh, that have not been dealt with, if I've removed any matters because you've come in late, um, I'm not chiding you, um, then just uh, you can indicate to me and I can recall those and deal with them as you wish me to deal with them. If not, then that, that is the role and I uh, thank you for your participation. The motion court is adjourned.